What do we think? <laughs> New digs. I think it needs to be raised up a little bit too. We're gonna get all settled in here. You can just like wheel it up. There you go. That's better. Okay, that's good. Hey! Can you hear it? I'm testing to see if the microphone works. Sounds like a test. My husband is on his. Hey guys! How are you? Okay, I'm making Philly cheesesteaks today. I've already started um, prepping the meat because it takes a long time and you guys don't want to sit there and watch me cut meat for 20 minutes. So I'm going to finish slicing that, wait for everybody to jump on here before I start making it. And I also uh, have my oven preheated at 350. So here we go. I'm just cutting this cross grain and this is a ribeye steak. I have had it marinating all day today in this brown sugar and bourbon. <laughs> you can finally hear me. Now I have to remember not to yell because I have the microphone sitting here. How is the knife cutting? Is that too loud? Okay. So I'm still trying to work out the kinks with the microphone. So if it gets too loud, let me know and I'll move it around. But without it, it makes a weird buzzing noise. So. <laughs> He's giving me crap. Okay, I'm going to start the skillet because I want it really, really hot before I put the meat in there. Um, I have about, you know, 14 cloves of garlic or so that I'm going to put in. I have six, nine. Nine cloves of garlic. What? Smasher, you always want to smash it. See, isn't that cool? I love this thing. Hey, new hairs. You can't really even tell, but it is very, very blonde and very short because I cut it and did it myself and I got it a little bit too short on accident. Because I was leaning down like this to look in the mirror. And so I cut it. And then when I stood up, I was like, oh, whoopsie. <laughs> okay. And our nine cloves of garlic. This is starting to get hot. I already pre-cut my vegetables because I was using them in something else yesterday. Um, taco salad, I think. So those are already cut for the skillet. Good, thank you. I like it. It's short enough to put in a ponytail still, so it's not too short. And um, I my hair grows super fast. So here's the rolls the buns that i'm going to be using fresh baked get fresh baked from the bakery if you can because it has less toxins in it i'm going to do something a little bit different today i'm going to use the um jimmy john's technique where they actually remove some of the bread in order to make room for all the stuff in the sandwich so they just dig out some of this bread oh i made a hole in it don't make a hole in your bread This one doesn't have a whole lot of extra bread in it, so I'm just picking some of it out. But what that does is it makes like a little boat for your food. Okay, I missed. 
asked who that was. Thank you. I appreciate that. For those wondering, I was dark hair, like brunette, and about down to here or so um, a couple days ago. <laughs> I got so sick of my hair that I just cut it all off. And I'm a hairstylist. Don't do this at home. I cut it all off and made it, balayaged it myself, all the blonde and stuff. Don't try to do that. Hire somebody. Because then it'll just cost you more to get it fixed. Okay, so I'm just pulling out the middles of the sandwiches. For the meat, I used a ribeye steak with the brown sugar and bourbon seasoning. My dog's going nuts. And then I um, sliced it cross grain. And I'm going to put it in a super hot skillet. And it's only going to be in the skillet for just a couple of minutes before you take it out because you don't want it um, dried out. I made this last time, or last time I made this, I used the wrong steak and I put a whole bunch of oil and butter in the pan and it made it like soupy to where it was almost boiling the meat and it was good, it tasted okay, but it wasn't, it wasn't like a really good sandwich like you would get at a sandwich shop. All right, there's all my bread pieces. So, I thought this was gonna be a big enough pan, but it doesn't seem to be. Yeah, there we go. Just break out the old Tetris techniques. All right. I'm gonna melt some butter. I have it setting out um, to where I could kind of put it on with a butter knife, but now that I've made it um, boat, I think I'm just going to paint it on instead. I'm just going to pop it in the microwave real fast. Okay, my skillet is nice and hot. I'm going to put the meat in. With the garlic all at the same time because again, it's only going to take just a couple of minutes. just for a minute because I want it to kind of form a crust on one side because that is like so good. And I'm just going to add a little bit of butter to each one of these and pop them in the microwave. Not the microwave, the oven. Don't do that. Don't do the microwave. That's disgusting. Um, just to lightly toast them. You don't want them too toasted according to my family because it hurts their mouth. So we're just going to leave them in a couple minutes. I know y'all are worried about the meat. I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm worried about it too, but I have to finish the bread. All right, bread's done. Oh, I want garlic salt. Okay, let's do this first. Yay, thank you. I see chef. Garlic salt going in. I feel like I'm in NASCAR. Time! Okay, so we're only going to do this until it is browned on both sides. Then we're going to take it off the heat. 
the vegetables are going in this one. Okay, so I don't know if I told you guys, but you want to buy your steaks super thin. I bought them at like quarter of an inch, half an inch thick, um, sliced very, very thin. If you can get them shaved at your butcher, that's even better. But I couldn't, so I just cut it myself. Okay, so that is basically done. I'm going to move that off the heat. Start cooking these. Now, here's the cheeses that I'm using. White American. It's disgusting for you, but it tastes really good. Hey! Oh, I didn't even see all you guys. Hi! Thank you for my hair compliment. It is blonde. Now, you can't really tell in this light, but it is very, very blonde. <laughs> That's right. We're going to make our own tribe. <laughs> All right. White American cheese. And here's another disgusting one for you. Let me move the microphone. Okay, so. <laughs> I found this at the store the other day, and I don't ever buy crap like this. But we're on our second top of it. <laughs> So bad for you. Don't buy this, but it's really good. I'm going to try to die. Do you know how some of the sandwiches that you get, um, specifically at, uh, what's that place that we buy steak sandwiches from? It's a chain. Jersey Mike. Jersey Mike. They have this like gooey cheese queso type of stuff, so that's what I'm trying to replicate here. <laughs> that's local though. Local is best. These are lightly toasted because you know how my family gets when you toast them too much. All right. I don't cook the vegetables very long because I don't like them mushy. Now, I'm going to put cheese on these sandwiches, just on one side, not on both. If I can get them open. Not the top and the bottom is what I was saying. Fully toasted for me too. Because we're the cool kids. <laughs> They make this cheese child proof. Just making sure every piece of the bread has cheese on it because, duh, why not? What is the point of a cheese steak if you don't have cheese on every single bit of your steak? Cheese on half of the sandwich. All right. <clears throat> now you can customize your people's sandwiches. Wait a second. I just messed that up. I need this cheese over here. So, for instance, I don't like um, 
onions, but I do like the red peppers. And I want cabbage on mine. So you can make it any way that you want. And I got a pound and a half of meat this time because one pound didn't seem to fill the sandwich, the size sandwiches that I got last time. Theodore's not going to eat a whole sandwich, so we'll have extra, but that's okay. Somebody will eat it. Probably Jace. Jace is on this, like, eating spree right now. He is 11. He just turned 11, and he is eating, like, a cow. He is eating everything in sight and several portions of it. All right, just putting vegetables on now. I know Teddy won't want anything on his sandwich, and I only want red pepper. And since Jace likes to eat, we'll just give him all the rest. <laughs> fun part. Okay, I'm going to put col uh, I about said coleslaw cabbage on mine because I like that crunch. Again, it's your sandwich. You can do anything you want. Okay, and another side note, a lot of people like mayonnaise on theirs. Blech. I'm not going to do that. So if you like mayonnaise, Put it on there. Now's the time. All right, here comes the second disgusting cheese that's gonna make this amazing. Oh. It's kind of solidified, so. And this is fun because it has peppers in it. <laughs> it's really good. oven for all of this to warm up and melt. This is what it looks like right now. Yeah. That tray is super heavy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read you guys this comment. Oh, Alex is here too. Hi, Alex. Yeah, <laughs> cooking with Carrie group chats. I'm in. Oh yeah, it's only lunchtime where you are. International cooking. <laughs> Amy and Alex. Hi, guys. I'm glad you're here. So, we're just waiting for all of that to melt right now. Do you, what are you guys making for dinner? Let me know in the chat. And see, it only says that we have like three people in here right now, but I know there's a ton more than that. So, thank you guys for being here. It's always more fun whenever your friends join you for something. I hear that there is a motorcycle ride um, that we're trying to put together. Not we, not me. It's been suggested a couple of times. Um, so raise your hand if you would be interested in an amputee motorcycle ride. I don't know where it would be. I don't know when it would be, but it sounds fun. <laughs> so if you're interested, let me know. 
Oh, shepherd's pie. I've heard of that, but I've actually never had it. And I think that has mashed potatoes on the top, right? Possibly. This week I'm making pot pie for my family because, um, thank you. I like the blonde hair better on me also. Again, you can't really see it in the video, but it is super blonde. Um, I'm making pot pie later this week because I have speech and debate tournament where I'm going to be gone all day Friday, all day Saturday. And so I need something that he can just throw in the oven and that's the perfect thing. All right, let's see how we're doing. Oh no, the bread is getting more toasted. Maybe I should have waited and not toasted it to begin with. <laughs> but good side note is the cheese is melting. I'm actually going to kick this up a notch to broil. And then if you, if you broil something, you have to be super, super careful not to let it go too far because I have burned many things by doing that. Cause I'm like, I'll just kick it up a notch just for a couple minutes. By the time a couple minutes goes past, your food's done. Like it's black. It's just throw it in the trash and order pizza. You can't make food out of it. So you have to watch it carefully. Theodore is up. He's coming downstairs to say hi. Are you watching Mama on the phone? Huh? One of my clients says he sounds like an old man because he always goes, huh? <laughs> Come down and say hi. Say hi to your friends. We're almost done, hurry up! I was doing here that that lady that was here she already left I was talking about on here see grandma wants to say hi to you hi Juan but John said hi <laughs> fresh out of a nap hi guys <laughs> wearing his Can favorite you, shirt yeah he won't take this shirt off I have to like um convince him to take it off for me to wash it. It's one of those sh shirts that's like a binky. They won't let go of. Oh! See what I mean? I almost screwed that. <laughs> Look how black the edges are. They're not going to eat this now. <laughs> All right. That's obviously done. Don't worry, I'll give you the not burnt one. It'll be fine. This one can be for James because it's not burnt. So if you pay bills at my house, you get the best plate of food. If you don't pay bills at my house, then you get the burnt loaf. <laughs> I wish I was kidding. I'm not. That one's for you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. It was super fun. There's bugs flying in my house because we have the doors open. <laughs> so I hope you have a great evening, whatever you're doing tonight. I appreciate you being here and supporting me. You guys are the best. And I'll be back Tuesday. If you have a suggestion for me to make something like the shepherd's pie that she's going to send me, put it on my community tab. Make sure that um, I see it and respond to it so that I can make it for you. Leave me um, either a recipe or a link to something, something like that. I'm going to read your comments while I say goodbye. So when you see this, say goodbye. <laughs> Bye, guys.